Yikes! Today, I'm at the world-famous Morris Costume in Charlotte, North Carolina, where Disney, Universal Studios, Scarowinds, Dollywood, and every other major amusement park around the world come to for their haunted house props and face painting systems. We'll talk to the man behind the madness a little bit later on in our program. Our amazing makeovers will be a little bit different on this episode thanks to expert special effects makeup artist Sean Morris here at Morris Costume. He took an attractive man and two beautiful little girls and with the magic of airbrush makeup completely transformed them. Sort of our amazing makeover in reverse. This is a showroom. A showroom where you can find anything your heart desires for a haunted house. Welcome to Morris Costumes, a Carolina original. Located in Charlotte, North Carolina. We dare you to enter, but enter only if you dare. Well, you see, I was born at a very early age and decided that I wanted to get into show business. And this is all that I knew. As a matter of fact, for many, many years, back through the 50s, and the 60s, and the 70s, I toured theaters, motion picture theaters, presenting the Dr. Evil Horror Show. Here in the theater, we would turn out all the lights, and a seance would happen right there in this theater. You would see the ghosts and goblins flying over your heads, and strange creatures from out of the night would come back and touch you on the back of your neck. Oh, it was something weird, I can tell you. And from that, it has branched into many other things. Our television show of Dr. Evil's uh, Horror Theater, which was very, very popular all throughout the entire South. And then, of course, Morris Costumes, where we started building props. If you would like to have a special prop for yourself, let's say that you're, that you're going to make your own haunted house, or you're just going to decorate your yard for, for Halloween, or maybe just, just your house for a, for a big Halloween party. This is the place to be. And if you can't find it at Morris's, chances are that it just doesn't exist. As a matter of fact, we, our catalog is over 1,100 pages in full color. And it gives you thousands, literally thousands and thousands of items that you can use for, uh, for a haunted house, for a haunted party, or just to have a good time. Over the years, we've been fortunate enough to, to meet some of the big stars in this country furnish supplies for him. For instance, Harry Blackstone, probably one of the greatest magicians that ever lived. And uh, we made several gorilla suits for him for a special illusion. And talking about magicians, David Copperfield's a very good customer of ours. So it, this list goes on and on and on. And we make them for television shows. We did special props for uh, Dawson Creek, for instance. And uh, on, we've been in numerous movies. Our gorilla suit was in a James Bond film called Diamonds Are Forever. In addition to all of the show business regulars who shop the Morris catalog for the purposes of fooling their audiences, there is one classic hoax that Morris's takes particular pride in being part of. It was very difficult to find a gorilla suit uh, at a reasonable price uh, back in the early 60s, so I started making gorilla suits, and that started us into the costume business. A very strange thing happened as well. While we were making the gorilla suits, I got a call one day in 1967 from a guy whose name was Roger Patterson. And he said, do you like to buy a gorilla suit? And I said, well, are you a magician? Do you have a show? He said, no, no, no. He said, I just want to play a trick on, on someone. And I said, so we talked about the gorilla and so forth. And I said, well, I'll send it to you. And he said, well, I'll tell you what I want to do. He says, you send me the suit. And if I can use it, I'll send you the check. If I can't, I will send you the suit back. And I said, wait a minute, I have a better idea. I'll tell you what we're going to do. You send me the check. If I can use it, I'll keep it. And if not, <laughs> I will send the check back to you. So he did, and I sent him the suit. Roger Patterson in 1967. And that's the same Roger Patterson who filmed Bigfoot walking through the forest in Northern California. That even to today, millions of people believe that that was the real Bigfoot. And actually, it was one of the Morris costume gorilla suits. So whether it's for parties, showbiz, or pulling the wool over the eyes of Western civilization, or just for fun, we're the place. Would you like to look like this? You can be the lucky recipient of Around Carolina's popular Amazing Makeover. Today we'll suspend our regularly seen segment to bring you this totally different type of makeover. The makeover designed to frighten your parents, horrify your children, and give a whole new meaning to the term makeover. Here at Morris Costumes, our fantasy faces airbrush face painting is used the world over. Ever wanted to transform yourself into a zombie? Ah! 
Well, if you can dream it, they can do it at Morris's. And not just for Halloween, but for any occasion. July 4th events, corporate parties. We also do many school events, fall festivals. We have also been doing full body painting, which has been on Sports Illustrated. We do some Star Trek, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, some of the bigger TV shows which use it. It's also even used in now runway models for even regular makeup application. One of the more popular effects done at Morris's is face painting via the airbrush. Well, about 10 years ago, we designed a system with airbrush face painting, which is a lot faster than the conventional conventional way of doing faces. So we can do a face in about 30 seconds, which is a lot more detailed and a lot more colors. And with face painting like we do at the Panthers game, it's all done with stencils, so anybody can do it. Some brilliant special effects can be achieved in just a short time through the magic of airbrushing. Just ask our volunteers. Yay team! We turned them into raving Panthers fans in no time at all. And now for something more extreme, the living dead. For prosthetics, you basically just prep your prosthetics, apply them with liquid latex, seal them, make them look good, make sure they're gonna even out with the face and highlight the face. You basically use people's regular features and try and accentuate them. We took a, a latex prosthetic piece, we applied liquid latex to the back, and then applied it to the face. That just got it to stick to the face. You can always also use spirit gum, but liquid latex is a lot easier to remove. Then we took liquid latex and applied it around all of the edges to seal it to the face. Made it look more like it was a part of his actual face and it would make it move with the face. When, when he talks, it would move. So it looks, it makes it a lot more realistic. And then we basically went in and highlighted his whole face one color, make it all look the same, make it even out. And then we go in and highlight around where the cut is to make it bruised looking and, and just made him look dead. So if it's the dead look you're going for, or if you're just trying to show off your team spirit, you can do it all at Morris's. Did you meet my friend Bobo? Oh, Bobo, you're, well, you should be nervous. Look, you're sitting on a box of TNT. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my. Oh. Thanks for joining us today on our Fear Factor Meets Around Carolina magazine. We face the fear of flying at the Bermuda High Soaring School thanks to all the folks out in Lancaster, South Carolina for showing us how to soar like an eagle on those world famous thermals. And I don't know if anyone has a fear of Mustangs, but those horses won't bite. The Carolina Regional Mustang Show in Monroe was great. Jumping out of an airplane at Skydive Carolina was quite a rush, and that's definitely one way of getting over your fear of heights. And finally, thanks to Phil Morris, the genius behind Morris Costume, and his grandson, Sean, for giving us a behind-the-scenes look at horror props and special effects. And if you have an idea for any of our upcoming episodes, contact us at aroundcarolina.com. Thanks for joining us. Bye-bye.